Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and uh, we're going to do our usual monthly thing. And by the way, we're doing this at the end of uh, October, <clears throat> and we have selected a five unit residential building and we're going to break out the financials on it and tell you what those financials mean and if you enjoy getting these videos hit the subscription button notification bell and we'll send them out to you at the beginning of every month so uh, this is a five unit building uh, central ottawa and this is probably one of the weirdest ones that we crunched some numbers out on i wasn't expecting this uh, but here's what happened so again five unit building listed for a million two it sold for a million one forty-five. The scheduled rental income was one hundred and six thousand dollars, deducting for uh, vacancy and bad debt. Our ERI is call it one hundred and three thousand, and the operating expense ratio, uh, operating expenses, sorry, were twenty thousand dollars. And when we, when we add in maintenance and management, that gives us total operating expenses of $30,000. Now the NOI, the net operating income on that building is for round numbers, let's say $73,000. And with that, we can now calculate the cap rate at a very, very crazy high for Ottawa of 6.34%. Usually uh, those numbers would be uh, in a different order. It might be like 3.4%, but no, it's really 6.3%. The operating expense ratio here is very acceptable at, call it 30%. Um, it sold for 11 uh, times the gross, 16 times the net, which is quite depressed, actually. And here's the weird thing. You could probably have bought this property uh, we did the numbers, I think it was like, I don't know, four, five, six percent and have a positive cash flow, which is crazy. Um, so there was something going on with the building that I'm not privy to. So what we did is we took a look at the building as if you had a 20% down payment because CMHC regulations are that on a multi-unit building, you're required to put down a 20% down payment. So that's what we did. And I think you can kind of predict what's gonna happen here. So with a 20% down payment on, on the property, which is about $229,000, uh, and again, we used a mortgage uh, rate of 4.7% amortized over 25 years, that gives us an annual debt service on that mortgage of $62,000, and that gives us a positive cash flow of $10,495 unheard of, unbelievable. Uh, the return on this purchaser's investment based upon that would be 4.6%. However, there's stuff happening behind the scenes and one's got to think there's a lot of deferred maintenance and capital cost expenditures that have to be required on this property. But those are the numbers. Thank you for watching.